hey moon magic family um welcome to the channel thank you so so much all of you who are following my readings regularly i am seeing this card it literally started sliding its way out of the pack as i picked them up so i think this is a uh, pile one today so super souls today is uh, a reading that i do every single sunday we ask for an immediate message for you something that you really do need to hear right now that spirit wishes to convey to you and we also seek information for the coming week for the next seven days they are timeless readings so you can tune in with these at any time um, but um, thank you so so much I know some of you follow them week in week out I am so so grateful and it is such an honor and a privilege to read for you so we are going to draw three cards this is the first uh, for pile one we'll draw runes and uh, charms as well May we have information, please, or may we have the guiding cards, please, for pile two and three. Yes, and here they are. Okay, so we have pile one. You have chicory. Pile two. You have olive. And pile three. You have pine. Okay, there we go. Let us draw runes and some charms as well for you and we'll see what is shown up. Some of you may already know uh, which reading or readings are speaking to you. Sometimes it is more than one, especially with these weekly readings, because you know sometimes there is more than one message coming through because more than one area of your life, um, you know, spirit is wanting to speak to you about more than one area or more than one subject. But let's see what runes we are shown. Okay, I'm getting two for each reading actually. So we have for pile one, we have. Uh, the Rune of Constraint, this is Nathas, and Othilla, the Rune of Separation. For Pile 2, we have the Rune of Strength, this is Uras, and Kano, the Rune of Openings. And Pile 3, we have um, Suelo, the Rune of Wholeness, and Awaz, the Rune of Defence. Okay, let's pop those there and draw some charms as well. So that's for pile one. That's pile two. And that's pile three. So pile one, you have the Eiffel Tower. You have the um, five-pointed star the Venus star, you have a wing with a rose, and you have the sand dollar. Those are the charms for pile one. Pile two, you have the lizard, you have the cross, and you have the fishbone. That's for pile two. And then pile three, a lot of charms for you. You have love, you have an owl, you have the little bells, you have a flamingo. Oh my goodness me, you have two owls. How very, very interesting. Two owls, you have an anchor, a flamingo. Wow. Okay, so pile three, a lot of charms coming through for you. How interesting. Okay, let's place these down here for you. I'm going to leave the video running just for a few minutes longer. I know some of you like a little bit longer to take your time um, to choose which pile or piles are speaking to you. Um, but we'll leave this running um, and I will see you in the readings in just a moment. Beautiful souls. Um, so right, thank you so so much for being here. I am feeling really excited about your readings. Hey, Pile One, welcome to your reading. So we are asking for an immediate message, something that Spirit wishes to 
uh, portray, give to you right here and right now. And we will potentially seek advice as well about the coming week, the coming seven days. Now I'm actually seeing that card there and also this one as well. Uh, let's draw another Oracle card as well for you. And yes, that one. See what we are shown. Okay. Oh, wow. This is heavenly. The Snow Shepherdess. Now, this is so beautiful with the card of chicory. I was really wondering, you know, about this card. I didn't want to say anything when we first um, drew it, really, or when even just opening your reading. But this, it, it means something comes um, to its peace. It's like... Uh, I mean, there's a beautiful energy here. And with the Venus star, the five-pointed star, the Eiffel Tower, I, I sort of feel like something is lifted from you with the rune of Othilla, as if you find your peace, you find your freedom. And the Snow Shepherdess is so interesting because this is a card that kind of says like that a period of winter is over. So something is coming to you. But it's kind of heavenly because this is like something that you didn't believe was possible. I mean, I would say if any of you have been trying for a baby, you might suddenly find that moment has come. Your life will never be the same again. Um, but you may also enter a period of, I won't say confi confinement is what they used to call it, isn't it? When you used to, when you were pregnant, you would, in, you would go into what they called confinement <laughs> when you weren't in the days when we weren't publicly allowed out, <laughs> that kind of stuff. But it's really bizarre. There's something, it, there is a freedom, a liberation here. It's very interesting. Othilla is a rune of gain, actually. And the rune of constraint, it's very interesting because it says that the rune of constraint is around you and that patience is needed. And yet I see this card here, the snow shepherdess, which always feels like a, it's like a dream coming true. That something you did not believe was possible is now possible. What are you birthing? Maybe there's still some work to be done with the rune of constraint. So we have the mirror as your first card. How interesting. We then have the stone. Look at the colors here. And then look at this third card here, the thread, where you push through something. Yeah, this is like the final leg of a journey, my beautiful souls. Something you have been patiently waiting for. Something that you, yeah, you, you didn't really, it's like the Venus star, you didn't really believe it would be possible or you've begun to question whether it would ever be possible. Like it just felt it was ice, stuck in, set in stone, not able to emerge. You've been very, very, very patient. Whatever this situation is for you personally, you are about to get the, the breakthrough moment, but it does feel like you push through something, you push through a barrier. Hmm, let us draw cards for you. Let's draw some tarot cards for you, beautiful souls. May we have information for pile one, please. This card as well. So first off, we have the Page of Cups. So I'm seeing this celebration. It's like he's finally caught the fish. <laughs> Yes, but look at the channel that he's standing in here. I want to say you've come a long way, my beautiful pile one. You have come a long way. You've been patient, you've waited. There's been a lot of conflict or a lot of indecision about something, or you just haven't been able to quite move it forwards. There's a point of celebration here. That is what is happening here. So when you get this reading, whatever this is, my beautiful souls, that you have been waiting for, I mean, this is an immediate message from spirit, which is saying, look, the liberation, the freedom, the thing that you wanted is coming. You have been so patient. 
You really, really have. So patient. And now we have the emperor. It's like this breakthrough moment. Yeah. Now, this is very interesting, the three of swords. So we are seeing the fact that you, with Othilla, you let some, something go. Hmm. This is really fascinating. Very fascinating. We have the Page of Swords. It is this freedom, this liberation. And then we have the King of Swords sitting under the Emperor. This isn't just something where the universe aligns, the planets align, and uh, you kind of get to that point where you just think, you know, gosh, isn't this amazing? A doorway opens for you. This is you making a very clear choice. This is you making a decision to no longer be held back by something. How interesting. To no longer tie yourself down to something. And what is then interesting is, it's almost as if you make that clear choice and then the thing that you want can come to you. And I said with fertility, it's quite interesting. I, I have known several people in my world. It was curious, actually, that they, uh, one of my best friends at school, actually, she was, she was adopted and it was very, very interesting. Um, and her parents had tried and tried and tried. They were waiting, you know, and, and they eventually decided to adopt and they had actually been trying for a child, you know. And then the moment that they adopted her, um, her, her mum became pregnant. It was like they stopped trying or they, they made a really clear decision. And, and, and I mean, she had a fantastic world. She was incredibly close to her sister who was then born, incredibly close. Um, you know, it was, but it was really interesting. It's this something that isn't possible. You've been really patient. It's almost as though you make a choice here to put something down. And the moment you put something down, some aspect of your world that has been giving you conflict, largely in your mind, and the moment you put it down, the something you desire appears. I think you might already be at that point where you're putting down the conflict. Yeah, I, I think you're already putting down the conflict. You, you kind of know you have to lay something to rest. You're overcoming some of the, the negative beliefs in a way, maybe my beautiful pile one but what I am seeing is it is there is a freedom a liberation here this is what the sand dollar is about freedom we can heal ourselves and in doing so when we heal ourselves what we desire comes to us that's kind of how the law of attraction works it's like we can push through something I'm kind of hearing lots of different scenarios coming through i think perhaps i will voice several of them for you but maybe let's just draw a couple more cards for you let's let's use the tea leaves here now these are such um such a big pack i'm just going to cut i think so we have jug light-hearted carefree time and we have target a goal orientated person i am seeing this as you being goal orientated and making this very clear decision and because you make a very clear decision about something it, it's but it, there's a very specific nature of energy around this my, my beautiful pile one you make a very clear decision not to allow something to bother you anymore. And in doing so, the energy around you of worry, of concern, of disbelief is lifted. And literally you are then lighthearted. The energy is right for you to, to be, you're free of something. And because you're free of something and you're clear about this you're really clear whatever this is for you it could be that 
you have been trying and trying for some for something and and it hasn't been coming whatever you're giving birth to or wanting to give birth to and it's kind of like or trying to write a book and you can't think of the ending and you you know you just put it down you make a decision not to worry about it then you know you go off and chill out with your friends and bingo the idea comes to you and you know what the ending will be and suddenly you're in flow again it could be that somebody has been bugging you something's really been getting to you and you make a really clear decision to not allow yourself to be affected by it anymore and at the moment you put it down and you're at peace with yourself the world opens up for you but it's really interesting you're the one that activates this position my beautiful par one it isn't an external event that activates it it's an internal thing it's you you make the breakthrough because you are clear about something you are solid about something you decide not to allow something to bother you anymore something that has been worrying or concerning or just give i want to say something that's been giving you a hard time but i think you yourself have been then tangled in the mindset of difficulty and you shift it this is the week when you shift it and with great clarity, you then move forwards. Let us draw some more cards to see if any more information is given about the way this then moves forwards or you are moving forwards. May we, may, oh, okay, we have a card that's flown out. Okay, so this is the card of works. This is the three of pentacles. This is really interesting because this card says, if you are prepared to work at something, and you are prepared to stick at it, this is Mars in Capricorn, you will achieve your goal. Okay, so something that has been hindering you, getting in the way of something you desire is shifting this week. We have the Knight of Discs as well. Beautiful affirmation. Um, I said that this, I feel as though this is the point when you push through something, you overcome a barrier. And you do it. You're the one that does it. It's like you break the back of something is sometimes how we use a phrase. Um, you know, you break the back of something. And so you're then from then on, instead of worrying that you're never going to do it. It's like if you're writing a dissertation, you know, you, you suddenly got your first draft and you know, do you know what? As a first draft, that is good enough. You were worried you were never going to complete it. And now you've broken the back of it and you can now relax a bit and edit it. And you know, it's plain sailing. So there is this breakthrough point and you'll be able to move. The Knight of Discs is a card of harvest. So not only are we having an affirmation, if you work at this, you will achieve it. So whatever you are desiring, working, trying to create, trying to birth, trying to make happen, this is the week when you kind of crack it. And the Knight of Discs, this is a card of harvest where you've worked and you've worked and you've worked. And now, even though this horse looks very weary because this night has come a long way, this is the point of bringing in the harvest. So something is coming to you, again is coming to you. You have been patient, you have worked, and this is the week of breakthrough. This is the point when you push through the thread, the, the something you need that brings you out of a place that has been feeling a bit stuck, a bit ragged, a bit worryful and, and all of that. This is the week of shift. My beautiful um, pile one spirit is really, really giving you such a clear affirmation. Keep going. This is the week when you make that breakthrough point. I'm super, super pleased for you because you really deserve this. You have been working for it. And I think at times you have really wondered if you were ever going to really achieve this and your reading is suggesting that you do. My beautiful pile one, this is your reading. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I post these um, every single Sunday for immediate guidance from spirit. Thank you to all of you who follow these readings week in, week out. I am um, so honored to read for you. 
and you know thank you for your comments your likes your shares and thank you all of you who are also following my other readings and also tuning in with my additional work on patreon um, beautiful souls patreon is a site where i put all of my extended readings and um, i don't do extended readings for every pick a card reading but i do for some and it's where i always put detailed readings for all zodiac signs as well um, you know, I my zodiac signs align with the moon month. This is very in tune with the lunar flow of energy this month. So uh, I also do a lunar energy flow video too. So do check out all these things if you wish to. If you tune into the homepage, you'll find a playlist of timeless readings. You'll find moon updates, all kinds of stuff there for you. So super souls, I'm sending you all the love in the world. This looks to be a real breakthrough week in something that you really, really have wanted to create, to birth, to make happen. I'm loving your reading. Tons of love to you, pile one. Hey, my beautiful pile two, welcome to your reading. So we are asking for a very clear message, uh, an immediate message, guidance from spirit right now and looking at the next seven days. What I need to say immediately is, um, I think you need to rest. Spirit is really telling you, you need to rest. You've been running yourself ragged, okay? Kind of pursuing your dreams, that's okay. I don't think it's running yourself ragged in a bad way. But yeah, you, the danger is you're running out, uh, I think, with the fishbone here. I'm seeing this sort of raggedy energy. And you're being asked to replenish, basically replenish your strength. Enter the dream time, chill out a little bit. You're going to come back with greater clarity and greater direction. Um, you know, we have Kano, the rune of openings. Now, before I say any more, <laughs> let's draw more cards for you and see what we are guided Um to gift you with what information is being offered to you my beautiful pile two this and actually that is the card that is really singing to me for today for my pile twos let's have a look and see okay right let us see we have play with me yeah you need to take some time out <laughs> I know that's easier said than done, but really you're running yourself ragged. Your reading is so clear. You're very, very, very busy. We have Thanatos. Yep. Ah, we have the riddle. This is all beginning to make some sense as well. Even more sense, more messages and more information coming through. And then we have um, the card of the heart. Okay, so this is very, very interesting. This is just fascinating because I do think you are burning out um, for trying. You're trying and trying and trying and it's like you're searching for an answer. I don't know if you, ha yeah, hello, there we are, the crow coming in. The crows come into some of my readings. I'm finding it just fascinating how they really show up at key points. It's like shouting and having a voice really really interesting uh they weren't very present in reading one but my goodness me pile two they are speaking to you yeah crows fly between the worlds they can bring us answers they can show us things that we need to see i i feel like something that you're searching for or looking for or trying to find a window an answer what to do next what this piece of information is what the answer is what the solution is you're trying to find something and you're you're trying so so hard that it's almost as though the answer can't come to you and your reading is really clear my beautiful pile too it's saying Stop, slow down, chill out, have some fun, play, and the answer will be, cl will be given to you. Lizard is about entering the dream time with the cross. It will be like divine, like not a divine intervention as such, but you know a divine piece of, it, it is, it's that divine idea, the spark of genius, the something is it, it will come to you at exactly the right moment just when you need it but it's going to come because you stop not because you persevere it's very very interesting sometimes a reading will tell us you need to persevere with something and sometimes it will give something very specific some very specific information which is in your case um that this 
specific thing that you need to know will come to you when you when you slow down and stop and play and have some fun it's like when you stop looking you'll suddenly see it staring you in the face let's draw more cards let's get more information for my pile too yeah you're running yourself ragged you're trying and trying and trying my beautiful souls at something let's uh yeah, we'll leave it at that and maybe draw more cards in a mo. Okay, so we have, yes, we have the Nine of Pentacles. I love it. It feels like an octopus almost, the energy around this Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, it really does. I almost feel like she's, I, I don't know if, if you can see here, it's like she's holding... Um, uh, like an oyster shell in her hand with a pearl in it she's it's like as if her energy is like underwater and all of this uh dreamy energy is around all this watery energy is around but the pearl is there the thing she needs is is there the king of cups absolutely but look at this look how still and grounded and earthed he is I feel like you've been pulled in lots of different directions. Maybe you've been feeling a bit like you're, I was almost going to say out at sea, but underwater. How interesting. And what we see here is this sort of nectar, this honey just dripping out of the tree. All that he had to do was to sit still, get present. And it's almost like reminds me of... Um, so Isaac Newton, who uh, discovered the law of gravity, and he was sitting under an apple tree and an apple fell and he got the moment of genius, the moment of inspiration, the piece of information that he needed that made sense to the puzzle that he was thinking about. There it came. Yes, look at this. This is, this is this sort of feeling like you're in the dark. You can't quite see what the next step is. You're not quite sure how to achieve some sort of goal or something that you wanted. The answer here is to stop trying to make it happen. Stop trying to make it happen. We have the moon as well. Get still and it will be illuminated for you. You'll see it. I do. There is this watery energy around you this sort of idea of you not quite knowing what to do next or where to go next it'll come to you honestly i remember listening to uh, it was some kind of a research project where they literally did take people who were geniuses um, you know well-known geniuses and and they talked to them and they also wore, wore MRI scans on their heads to see what brain activity there was and, and they were basically giving them a problem to solve or something they had to find a solution and they sort of immersed themselves this is the water energy as well they immersed themselves in the problem and then they basically put it down completely, walked away. And it was kind of like when they were then kind of like having a shower, bingo, that's when that moment of inspiration came. And all of them identified that they would immerse themselves in a problem, but then completely let it go and walk away. And that somehow the free flow of the universe could give them then the answer they needed. They didn't have to keep on trying to find it, to know that they would, they would be guided, they would be given that inspirational moment. And it is interesting looking at this tower card with lightning coming down, that breakthrough point, because the answer to the riddle because it's, it, it literally showed on the MRI scan as like a spike of energy. They called it a spike, a spike of genius, a spike of inspiration. That's what it showed up. Yeah, so beautiful souls, whatever you are trying to sort, fix, attend to, you know, you are immersing yourself in the problem, but step away, take time out, have fun, chill out, go fishing. <laughs> if that appeals to you not otherwise but you know what I mean there's something around just getting still relax chill play the answer the opening Kano the rune of openings it will come to you it absolutely will come to you let's um draw a couple of tea leaves uh, this is such a big pack I'm just going to cut and we'll see what's here we have fair man dealings or relationship with a man with blonde gray or white hair 
Okay. Well, that's the one on the top. Did you see that fly there? And basket, recognition, reward for merit. Okay. So those are your two additional uh, tea leaf cards. I really do think, yeah, you're going to get the recognition. Whatever you are struggling to find the solution for, it will come to you. Now, the fair man, uh, dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, grey or white hair, it may be that somebody assists you in this, in finding the answer. This will be something that is relevant to you in a personal way. So be thoughtful and also blonde, grey or white hair. Think about those colours as well. What does the colour of blonde or indeed white or grey, what do those colours mean for you? Because that could also be something that is significant to you um, at that moment of, um, of discovery, of breakthrough. Um, we're definitely seeing that. Uh, so your reading is very clear. It's asking you your message from spirit this week is to say, look, slow down and the answer will come. But let's ask if we can be given any more information for, you know, the next seven days. Can we be given further information for pile two, please? More information about the coming week, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. These are very interesting cards. So the Princess of Swords and the Card of Sorrow, which is the three, uh, the three of Swords. The Three of Swords, as a general rule, it indicates the end of a conflict. Yeah, you're, I think you are honestly giving yourself a very, very big, a, a, di a difficult time over this. What I also see is there could be a conflict around you. You're trying to find a solution here you're not able to find it and you may find that you have at the moment that you are in conflict with someone else over how to proceed so this conflict this issue this difficulty this riddle the solution you need the thing you're really trying to work at i think it could actually connect for some of you to someone else but um with the princess of swords the energy of this is very dynamic um it's a bit like, uh, they liken it in the book to um, Jesus throwing the moneylenders out of the temple. It's quite radical, okay? Now, what I'm seeing here is actually you are being asked to take a more gentle approach to finding the solution. Um, the answer, the, the inspiration, the spike of inspiration, it will come to you. The solution will come to you. You don't have to force it and you don't have to do it in a conflictual way or a confrontational way. Everything in your reading is saying, you know, immerse yourself in the problem. It will be shown to you, even if you feel like you're kind of walking in the dark, um, you know, you'll get the recognition so, so you're going to find the right answer. The right answer will come to you. You don't have to force this. And these cards are really strongly saying to you, look, let it unfold and emerge. Don't try to push. Don't, don't be too radical or direct. Everything in the energy for you this week is to allow something to flow so the solution comes to you rather than you trying to force it or make it happen. This is very, very clear because it could cause a greater conflict. It doesn't have to be so radical. It doesn't have to be an all or nothing solution. The right answer and the recognition will come to you. My beautiful souls, K know the rune of openings. You're going to know exactly what to do and how to move forwards. So yes, really slow yourself down here. You may be literally kind of like I said, burning out. You may be tearing your hair out over something, trying to make it happen. And actually that kind of uh, energy isn't helping it. Your message is so, so clear, pile two. Step down, slow down, relax, chill, play, have fun, step away from it. And literally, it will be like that apple falling off the tree for Isaac Newton or whoever, it, I believe it was Isaac Newton. You know, that the honey, the nectar um, will just pour into your cup. OK, the answer will come out of nowhere. OK, so don't don't be forcing it. Don't be pushing, rushing for this, you know. Um, yeah, just slow it down. The answer will come. 
beautiful souls, very clear guidance for you this week. Um, my beautiful pile too. Thank you so, so much for being here. Um, I am sending you so, so much love. I appreciate this may be feeling a bit frustrating or a bit difficult, but honestly, the answer is coming and the direction will be so, so clear to you. Uh, my beautiful pile too. Thank you, Super Souls, for being here. Thank you so, so much to all of you. I know some of you, uh, you know, thank you all for being here, but I know some of you do follow these readings every Sunday, week in, week out. Uh, I am so, so grateful. It's such an honour to read for you, and that's such a validation for me. So thank you very, very much for being here. Thank you all of you who support my work in every way. For those of you who are on Patreon, which is where I do my um, all zodiac sign readings. Um, I have in recent times done just a couple of weeks before this reading, if you're watching it as I've uploaded it, I have posted readings for all zodiac signs here on YouTube for the moon month. Um, mine are always, my readings are always about the moon month rather than the calendar month. But do check out other things that I do if they are of value to you, my beautiful souls. And thank you so, so much for all of you who are on Patreon as well, because I have a big free online library that deals with emotions and psychology and um, you know it costs a lot to keep these resources going so I'm so grateful to all of you there and um, if you're new to Patreon it's a site that works on donations and it's where I do extended readings and um, uh, it, it works on donations you can give as little or as much as you wish but I do my extended readings there I do tutorials it's a it's a different kind of platform but I'm so grateful to all of you who are there so thank you so so much um, pile two have a relaxed and chilled week the answer and solution will come to you tons of love Hey, my beautiful pile three, welcome to your reading. This is an interesting card because the card of pine says, you know, it's okay to make a mistake. Um, you know, forgive yourself, forgive others. Mistakes are understandable. So I'm kind of wondering what that energy is around you today, my beautiful souls. And what message is spirit bringing for you that you really need to know right here and right now? And what are you experiencing? What are you needing? And can we also, we will of course be also asking about information for the coming week. This is interesting. We have the energy of hold on to me, this card. How fascinating. And we have, okay, we have the stone. Then we have the mystic. Oh, and then we have Kairos. How interesting. Oh, my doorbell is ringing. How fascinating. We're being interrupted. Okay, my beautiful pile three, I am back. We have been interrupted. How interesting. I think everything that happens in a reading is arriving with purpose and bringing us inter interruption, bringing us information. I think something that you are building or trying to create has been interrupted or someone has um you know kairos is a, is a card that is about timing divine timing hold on to me is a card that says the pace of your world is about to accelerate i want to say my beautiful souls for your <laughs> for your reading this week I think your world is about to accelerate, okay? I want to say fasten your seatbelt and prepare for the ride. Something that you thought wasn't moving very fast, you thought it was a bit slow, we have the energy of the stone. I think it is suddenly going to transform. Something is going to move from feeling quite stationary to moving very fast, very, very fast. And within that, it could be triggered by some kind of an event or a circumstance where, where someone, it, it could even be a mistake. Someone makes a mistake and you have to then pick up the pieces. But it moves something forward. Something is about to accelerate. This card is where it's about forgiveness. Hmm, very, very interesting. This energy may be around you already. You may already be having to pick up the pieces or do some extra stuff because of someone else's actions. Hmm, 
We have these two owls here, a double, a double owl here. This is so interesting. And look at the eye here as well in the card of Kairos. There's something you needed to see here, actually. It was very important, even though, even though there may be something slowing down your progress or something that has been in the way now is now removed because you see it clearly. Mm, I, I need more information. I definitely need more information for you, my beautiful pile threes. May we have a message, a very clear message for pile three um, that they need to know about. What is this information they need to know about now? And may we also then look at what's taking place this week, guidance and direction for the week. Okay, Queen of Wands. Oh my goodness me. Look at, I want to say, look at you. Fired up, passion, moving fast. How interesting that we have these two figures. Can you see how they look like they are made of stone at the bottom of you? Yeah, something comes to you this, with the two owls. This is like a sign. We've got all these runes showing that something is about to move very, very fast. Yeah, this is a week when something is about to move fast, my beautiful souls, four of wands. This is fabulous. So I was wondering with this energy of a mistake and I was thinking kind of what's that about does it mean that you, you're going to be and you're going to be disrupted you know what does that mean is this going to be a challenge it's not going to be a challenge this is fasten your seat belts be ready for the ride this is taking you exactly where you want to go with the four of wands this is something moving forwards very 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 quickly we have the four of wands and the five of wands Okay, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles. How interesting. This is really bizarre, but you know, if a mistake is made and you are having to pick up the pieces, you might find that it's a sort of like a pain, in, a pain. <laughs> I don't know what I was about to say. You might find it was a bit of a pain, but you know what? It's really going to bring about something new. It would be like... Uh, I don't know, You something goes wrong. Let's say you've, uh, I'm trying to think of a good example, but I don't know, let, let's say you have signed up to something or you've, I don't, let's say you have an internet provision or something like that and you've signed up to something and it goes wrong and it causes you a problem, okay? But the outcome is so much better because you end up actually having to move to a different internet provider because of this or something, there's a mistake. The mistake causes you an issue, but at the same time, the outcome is absolutely phenomenal. It creates a space of, new, of a new beginning, something that's really, really valuable to you. So it's very interesting. Yeah, it, it's, it is like even if you, you make a mistake and, and you learn from it and you grow from it, but it's, it's bigger and better than that. It's like there is a, a transformation. Something happens that you, you felt like you were kind of cornered. You felt like you were stuck. Something that feels like it was stuck or it was plodding along really slowly. It is really bizarre, but it, there's something that happens here to create an opening or to rocket something forwards. That's what I want to say. Something rockets forwards and it rockets forwards because of something that was unexpected. But it turns out to be this incredible sort of like a silver lining for you. It really is. You know, it would be like if you had a, a full day at work and you were planning to do something and you had your timetable done and you were really cool. This is the pathway I'm following today. I know what I'm doing. Suddenly there's a massive interruption, almost like what I would call a Mercury in retrograde moment. Something crashes and goes wrong. You have to go out and do something else. And, and actually, then you have a chance meeting that connects you to somebody else who does something else. And, and, and the whole thing just... You, you, over, you overcome the, the mistake, the problem in the first place, 
but it rockets everything forwards in a way that is honestly bigger and better than you had expected. So there's going to be a really interesting outcome that comes because of something that you wouldn't have seen as being a positive in the first instance, which is why I think we have the two owls here. We're seeing things from two different perspectives. You could see it one way or you could see it another. You could see it as a problem or you could see it as a, as a space of incredible potential. And you're going to, you are actually going to celebrate this. You're going to be seen with the flamingo. You're going to be seen. It might feel like you're having to balance things or juggle things or handle things, but you're going to be seen. It's like it's going to bring out the best in you. Courage, you know, the this nine of wands with this goblin sitting on, on the boar. A wild boar is about courage. Yeah, this is, this is a, a circumstance that has the most incredible outcome and it's bigger and better than you had expected. Can you see we have an eye here again? Two eyes here, both on above and below the butterfly. So you could look at this through the eyes of, of a shadow, the shadow perspective where you feel like this is just halting your progress or you could see it as an incredibly divine opportunity here. Mm, very interesting. Let's draw some tea leaves for you. It's such a big pack. I think we, we're just cutting today the pack today. You have Wedge. Mm, someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. This is the interruption. And this is where we have again the energy of the pine card. It's like someone makes a mistake or does something that even could let's say cause you harm but interrupt something yeah somebody does interrupt something that you're doing what else do we have here for my beautiful pile threes claw be careful do not take risks mm. and we have the camel i think i'm taking this card too persevere and you will overcome problems yes absolutely absolutely your energy is really clear here let me move this along for you. Now, pile three. Yeah, there is. there will be something that interrupts your, your world this week. Um, it may already have interrupted. It's quite possible that it's already interrupted. It's already landed and you're thinking, oh, you know, honestly, there is going to be an amazing silver lining in this. There really, really is. It may be feeling like a, a challenge or an annoyance or a, oh, why would somebody behave like that kind of stuff or however it is but if you persevere you will overcome this problem let's have a look indeed there really is a, a, a major opportunity for a new beginning here you're going to be celebrating with the four of wands and the wedding bells here yeah there's going to be a real positive outcome and i'm seeing this as well can you see this figure behind this tree very very interested there's a hidden bonus here there's a hidden benefit here. With the card of Kairos, this is like um, kind of divine timing. The timing is really, really right for something to be seen as well. Maybe you have someone in your world who doesn't always behave terribly well. Okay. And I think actually what's happening here is that they'll be seen. You're coming out of this in a space of of celebration, of reward, and things are going to accelerate and move quite quickly here. It does feel like, and almost like karma, you know, I think if somebody is operating behind your back, they're going to, I think they're going to be seen, I think they're going to be uncovered. We're going to see, people will see them for the sort of like the demon that they are. You're coming out of this on top, my beautiful souls. So if there is a conflict already around you or you feel like there's something going on in the background, this is going to move forwards pretty fast. Something's going to be brought to light, whatever, whatever this is. So persevere. 
Yes. Oh my goodness me. Look at the energy of these cards. Queen of Wands twice. I mean, wow. Queen of Wands twice and the Emperor. And look at the fire. Look at the passion. Look at the energy. Yeah, you're going to need to step up to something this week, my beautiful pile uh, threes. Um, it may already be around you. It's going to move very, very fast. Persevere, you will get the outcome you desire and it will be bigger and better than you, than you had thought. There is a real silver lining here and you're going to be celebrating. Take charge of the situation with the emperor. You are definitely called to step up, take charge, sort it out, take action here. The mystic, sometimes the mystic is a card that suggests people can be, you know, I mean, people with, uh, who have the, uh, certain capabilities, you know, have for, uh, you know, hundreds of years been targeted. But, you know, actually hold true and be yourself. This is going to accelerate in a really good way. You know, this, with this Queen of Wands, I love this card. She's shown here with red hair and she sits with a leopard. And, and this is because she is the queen of transformation. Look at the mystic, the colors in the butterfly. She's the queen of transformation. She's a seer. She sees clearly. And what she has done is she has basically transformed. She has... Um, it, the story goes that she used to have black hair and sit with a black panther and then she transformed and evolved and emerged and came into her own power and strength and she had blonde hair and she sat with a lion or a lioness but she chose then to sit in this place of middle ground with a leopard so the black spots remind her of the past of where she's come from but the golden coat of the leopard actually shows her power. So I feel like you guys are ultimately going to potentially sit in a space almost of judgment over someone. The way that you handle this situation will really transform it. You're coming out of this being seen as someone with courage, with integrity, you're going to be celebrating, there are new beginnings. People will see you differently, but it is, there is an element of, of having to deal with something here, an interruption, my beautiful souls. However that is in your world already, or however it, if it's already there, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Persevere, you are coming through this seriously on top. And if this hasn't yet happened, when it does, you know, don't be concerned. You are coming out of this with um, what's the, there's a phrase, isn't there? It's not like flying colours. I feel like I'm muddling two phrases up. But you're coming out of this totally on top of your game here with the Emperor energy here. Yeah, you will be seen as somebody who, you're going to lead this. You're going to handle it. You're going to be the person who sorts out the mistake. But you will be seen for the fact that you achieve this. My beautiful pile three, it's a fast paced week. There will be a magnificently brilliant outcome at the end of this, something that has felt stuck before will emerge, but it will be a fast paced week for you. There's no question of it. Beautiful souls, I have a lot of readings that I put here on YouTube. This is a timeless reading. I'm so grateful. Some of you I do know follow these readings week in, week out, and I am truly, truly honored to read for you. But they are timeless. And if you find yourself needing additional support in the week, if this is like one of those fasten your seatbelt moments and you just want an anchor point, do check out the Timeless Readings playlist or go to the homepage um, because there are so many um, readings there answering specific questions. How will this outcome work out? Is this a, you know, how will something happen? You know, what will be the outcome? Is it a yes? Is it a no? Um, you know, all kinds of stuff. Can I trust this person? There's a lot of readings there that would be really helpful to you. So do check out that Timeless Readings playlist. If there's a lot of emotional stuff going on in your world, um, do check out my free online library. 
Um, I'll put all the links in the description box below. And thank you all of you for being here. Thank you to those of you who also support my work on Patreon because your donations there really do help to keep that library um, there as a free resource. It costs a lot to maintain a big, big website like that. But, you know, it is all about psychology, emotions, and there's all kinds of really useful stuff to assist um, with any aspect, emotional and psychological aspect of your world. So beautiful souls, do please use that resource if you wish to. Um, my beautiful pile three but persevere you're totally coming out tops top of your game here really really honestly this is a fabulously good outcome for you i mean look at this smile on this beautiful queen of wands face yeah something that was set in stone and a bit stuck gets sorted um it's just going to be quite fast-paced energy for you um, as as you um, navigate this and you know do so with care and compassion Queen of Wands, you don't forget the past, but my goodness me, you are now in charge as the future emerges. Beautiful energy for you. Um, so beautiful souls, here I am waffling away. Uh, if you do uh, or are interested in checking out Patreon, it's where I do my extended readings. I don't do them for every reading, but I do for several. And I also do my in-depth all zodiac sign readings there as well. This particular moon month, if you're watching this as I have posted this, um, I do a moon update here on YouTube and I have done individual readings for all zodiac signs with big extended readings um, on Patreon. So beautiful souls, do check all of those things out if they are, um, if you think that they may appeal to you. Pile three, I'm sending you the biggest hug ever. And, um, you know, do keep us posted. Tons and tons of love to you all.